What is up, my fellow parents? Hey, welcome. Jordan and I are really happy to be here. You know, every, every show we do, we want to bring you value. We want to bring you education. We want to bring you inspiration. And we want to do something different. I never want this show to become something where like it's you could predict what we're going to be doing or talking about. And so we've got a really fun surprise for you today. Jordan took his family to these two international countries, Finland and Norway, for a two-week family excursion. And I said, Jordan, this this is I got a great idea for this show. Would you be open to this? We'll do a whole podcast on kind of what that vacation was like for you, traveling with three young kids, and you give us some tips and some tools about how you manage your emotions, how you manage the stress, how to thrive during the holiday season. And Jordan said, yes, let's do it. So today's episode, you're in for a treat. We're going to hear some great stories, some intense stories, some beautiful family stories about uh, how Jordan took his family. And we're going to listen and we're going to learn and be inspired. So Jordan, get us started, man. Tell us what what did you did. I love it. A lot of people asking they're, they're asking right now, why did he go to Scandinavia, right? So we're, we're filming this in the holiday season. It's November. It is cold. It was minus 20 <laughs> I don't Celsius, even know what that means. Right? I don't know so we're Celsius. Talking like, we're like oh. negative four Fahrenheit <laughs> to like a high of eight Fahrenheit in the day. So it was you, frigid. But yeah. what is in yeah, what, northern why? Scandinavia? The, the North yeah. Pole. The, the North, North Pole. Pole. So we had this okay. dream, okay. man, of like – taking the kids to see Santa Claus, old Saint Nick. Like they have a village up in Northern Finland where it is like the Santa's village. So just throwing that out there, it was kind of a bucket list trip that we've been talking about for a long time. Our kids were nine. We've been planning for you it. You have. For a okay, while. so your oldest kids like, are nine. I'm going to Google it, it on my phone right now because I, this is the second time you told me about this off air too. There's an actual town or community which is – it's Santa's called Santa's village. village. It's in it's in the <laughs> Arctic Circle in northern Finland, Lapland, Finland. The town's called Rovaniemi, and it's pretty cool. People go there from all over the world. There it they've is. They've got the elves. There it they've is. got the they've got the reindeer, the sleds. They've got cool rides for the kids. Wow. It's basically like uh, little snowmobiles. I mean, there's so many things you could do there. They've got this cave of just wonders. Wow. You're just like. You've got these gymnasts doing shows, and it was it was a lot of fun. So I wanted to just paint that picture first because, like, a lot of people are like, why are you going to trek halfway around the world? And this was why. We're getting to that time of year where, you know, mm-hmm. kids are 9 and 10, and they start to yeah, kind of yeah. see things. And I just wanted to give one last hurrah. Because if yeah, it's kind of true. Would... Like, in age 9, you're, so, like, in the prime time Santa holidays because, you know, that doesn't mean they don't enjoy it when they become 12, 13. End, like, you know, teenagers, but this is like prime time. All right. So yeah, I'm looking at a map right here. So where you are in Santa Claus village, it's like Northern inner Finland. And if you look at the topography, just on this map, you're actually in higher elevation than the country of Iceland. And if you go East, it looks like you are, uh, it's like you're, you'd be in Northern Alaska and even in Northern Russia is where you'd be like longitude, latitude. You are way up there. Right. So northern latitude, yeah, we, we were above the North Arctic Circle, which was pretty cool. So I just wanted to make sure everybody knew yeah. like why I was there. And, and the most important thing is how okay. long we've been planning this because it wasn't like a spring of the moment. Hey, it's summertime. Let's go to the beach. It's like we didn't go anywhere last year to okay. save and to plan for this. So we knew it was going to be Take a long, a bucket list. Trip. Yeah. So a bucket list item. So one of the big things that I just wanted to make sure that everybody knows is when you're f- planning a family trip, What we did is we got everybody in on the process early, right? We started – I mean we booked this thing a year in advance, at least the flights. And we we started talking about it. So you started getting everybody amped up and excited for what's to come. Even though it's a long ways away, it's like we're going to do this, okay? And I think that was really important. And and throughout the process of getting closer to us traveling, Hmm. we'd ask the kids, what do you guys want to do when you're there? What are you looking forward to? My son multiple times came up to me and said, hey, dad. Is this really where Santa lives? And I'm like, you know what, son? Oh, We're there to find gosh. out, all right? Because I know you've seen Santas around here and there. Let's go find out if this is the real Oh, Santa. my gosh. And it was really cool because so a lot they, of questions they still came believe out of it. Santa, I don't know if we can say that on the air. I haven't, I, I haven't asked. Um, okay. I haven't asked, but I definitely think the spirit is the sp- 100% yeah. real. Yeah. Um, 
And I was chatting with you idea, offline right? to, before your trip about, I think, one of the best, most underrated uh, Christmas movies. What was it called? It's called The Claws, right? It's a cartoon. It was that was. Yeah, I just rewatched it's it after so you talked good, about everybody. that, actually. It's on Netflix. Starts with a K. Claws. It's like Klaus. Oh my gosh, you've got to watch this movie. It's a tearjerker. It's great for kids. It's great for, and it kind of gives me a picture, a cartoon picture of where you were, even though I was following your trip on Instagram. Please continue. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So as everybody knows, when you go to, on a trip like this, you got to think about so many things. Remember, for anybody who's just listening, I've got three kids. One of them has special needs. He has Down syndrome. And then I have twin nine-year-olds so there was a lot of planning a i don't like bringing no a ton of luggage but i'm going to the freaking <laughs> north pole and i gotta bring i oh gotta bring God. some clothes you know what i'm right. saying so you right. gotta be thoughtful you gotta be thoughtful yeah. about what you're packing and my wife was really? a trooper with that research what are the clothes we need to have mm. how many layers do we need to have what kind of footwear Hand warmers, foot warmers. Making That's an sure investment right there because your kids don't have. Prior. I mean, you live in uh, you live in Atlanta, Georgia. You don't have snow burkas when you're living it, right? Right, <laughs> right. So we ended up getting <laughs> snow burkas. We ended up getting long johns. And so packing is key, and that's one of the things I wanted to give my wife big yeah. kudos to because we each had a check, uh, uh, okay. a bag you would check, and then a bag to carry on. But the bag you would carry on needed right. to be small. But it needed to have your essentials. Okay. So that's prime okay. advice. Because on the way there, we had to take three legs, mm. three tri- three okay. you know, flights, and the chances of our luggage getting lost. Oh, and they, you probably write about that research. So if you go from right. a warm climate oh. to a frigid climate oh my and your gosh. bag is lost, what do you do? What do you they do? Probably, you they probably must have that. coats in the airport. They probably he's... Yeah, they do, but it's wise to pack a bag right. that you carry on that has some of that stuff just in case. Yeah. Because, ladies and gentlemen, my no. baggage got no, lost it did. twice. No, it did. <laughs> Your luggage. Yes, it did. Two different oh. times it got lost. Yeah. So I want to make sure that everybody, if you're planning a trip, always plan to have that carry-on bag that's and got some essentials Did you get yourself back? In. Was it hours later oh, yeah, or was it days back, later? Of course, but it took time. Uh, so what days, did you do? Did like you buy? Uh, 20, 20 did you... s- no, we, we, we lost some luggage while we were there. So we waited 24 hours for, we just wore what we had on. And then once we got home, we lost another bag and that came two days later. Wow. But, but you know, you can get travel insurance okay. and all that for that, but that's not the, 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 the right. purpose of this podcast. The purpose of this podcast is to like, when people mm-hmm. go on these trips, there's so much mm-hmm. happening mm-hmm. and you have to think about. And so the pre-planning process yeah. is so important. Given the fact that we've got a kid with special needs, he oh, eats certain foods. Yeah. So we needed to make sure we had right. that available right. to tell us. Tell us, uh, just for funsies, tell and us one or two of the foods that he really likes to eat. You have to always like have it ready oh, to geez. go. No judgments. Are no judgments. Cream, cream cheese. Mm-hmm. Cream cheese. And like think of little Cheeto puffs but not flavored. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. These puffs, uh-huh. right, with cream cheese. And then mm. hummus. Mm-hmm. And then That's frozen blueberries. A- that's his go-to. His go-to All right, man. buddy. All right. Those are his Kim go-to. Him. So when you have a 10-hour oh, flight, gosh, with little you got to make sure you've got the yeah, tech you downloaded. Do. you got to make sure <laughs> yeah. things are charged. And you got to make sure you got your snacks. And believe it or not, when we land, think about this. You're traveling all day. We left on a Tuesday night. We didn't mm-hmm. arrive till Wednesday night. Mm-hmm. You're exhausted. We get to the mm-hmm. Airbnb, and we didn't want to go grocery shopping. Oh, so yeah. because we pre-planned – and put oh. some mac and cheese oh. in the bag. We were ready oh, to just very cook smart. dinner and go. To yeah, sleep. that's so good. You make that's sure good. You're thinking about that, okay? Because when you arrive somewhere, you're exhausted. You don't want to find a grocery store. Sometimes you, you right. get too late, and there's no. And the kids are going to have a meltdown because they don't want to eat that international language. food, or they they don't want Burger King or Taco Bell, or they're not open. Right. Oh my gosh, right. this is like a great way to save your mind. Please, yeah, okay. Tell us, tell us what happens. Okay, so as we continue, so I just want to make sure just the process mm-hmm. of getting there, everybody kind of knows what to think about. And that food is 100% clutch God. that happened to us so many times. How many minutes away from the Santa clutch. Claus Village did you guys land? Was it a long drive? Mm, well, that was the second part of our trip. So no, no, that wasn't. We did take a two-hour drive on this trip, but no. It was oh, right. so yeah, Rava, Ravanemi. R- Ravanemi. Ravanemi. Okay, yeah, it is it right, right next to it. Okay. You can, you can do it. Santa Claus Village. Um, 
but as as we kind of talk about this, can it be frustrating, parents, when you you spend all this time and this money on this trip that's supposed you have this idea of it being oh, a trip yeah. of a lifetime, and then when you're in it, sometimes you don't see the positivity that mm. can come out of it. How many We've times have you been, been in that yeah. situation where you're so excited about this and then you get there and and you and you I just know. get frustrated? Because either the kids are meltdown because they're they're young or they're fighting or your kids are on screens or maybe you have a big blow up with your spouse. Oh, bro, dude, I'm gonna start tearing up right now. I've been there too many times, man. Please, too many times. Too many times. So what I had to do was I had to like be mm -hmm. present. Sean, you talk to us a lot about being present. And there's so many times on this trip where I have my my to-do list. I, I have got a whole thing planned. Today we're waking up, we're doing yeah. this. Tonight mm -hmm. we're going to do this. Tomorrow yeah. we're going to do this. But the reality is like I had to be present mm -hmm. in every moment because you get thrown curveballs and you got to just enjoy that time with each other. Because what I realized at the end of this trip is those memories we, we had together mm -hmm. are going to be with us forever. And like, maybe we didn't get to go see that mm -hmm. one museum, but that wasn't the point right. of the trip. The point of the trip was yeah. to oh, be together gosh. and explore and have fun. If you can't get to everything, that's okay. And so one of the, the things that I have on my list of like traveling with kids, mm -hmm. a must do, it's mm -hmm. stop and smell the roses. Mm -hmm. But what I wrote down is stop oh, and play yeah. in the playground. It's good, dude. Everywhere we went that had a playground, we stopped to oh, play. You're, you're actually being literal. You're being literal. On the side of the road. No, I'm literally saying you stop stopped and, and play. Played. Because if you're wow. – just stop and play. Like we were freezing. It was, it was probably oh three degrees Fahrenheit. Oh my we're gosh. bundled up. We're kind of walking out from Santa's Village, and I see this rope swing. And the kids are like, rope swing. I'm like, wow. let's play. That's... And we just stopped right there, and we got on, and we started playing. Can we just sit on this before we move on? Because I'm really moved by what you're saying. I'm really moved by it. Because if you think about it, I was like, I got to go. We have dinner. But I'm like, you know what? No. We don't yeah, need let's do dinner later. You're in Finland. Let's, let's have fun. Laugh. Let's, let's laugh. Go on. Literally, let's play. I think um, being present, there's two things. They go together. It's hard to be present in every moment. On a vacation it is. and at home. But we can do that. Like, can we do that? I think we can. Can we be present in every moment? Like, I don't... You have to be mm -hmm. mindful about it. Yeah. yeah. Like, you have to you mm -hmm. have to think about it. Like, we had six hours of daylight. Yeah, okay? yeah. six hours. The, the <laughs> sun came up. You started to see light at 9, 9.30 yeah. in the morning. It started getting dark at 2.30 oh, in the yeah, afternoon. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got it. Okay. Our bodies were all jacked oh up on the time gosh. change. Try to wake the kids up. They're tired. We like, got to live gotta it get up. out the door if we we're going to do hours. anything today. Sometimes, sometimes we wouldn't get out the door till noon. And I would, I'd be right. so frustrated in that moment. Like we have yeah. to be there at 10. We have a drive. But I was like, you know what? Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. It's, so, it's no big so deal. Good. And we still had a great afternoon. Even though it was, it was so dark. dark. You're right. Now that I look at the pictures on the Instagram, it, it does seem like you were out at nighttime a lot dark oh my time. god no one ever talks about santa's village being dark all the time yeah this time of year man you're in the arctic circle soon they'll have no daylight at all so that was one thing i wanted to make sure i point out because we we as parents we plan things we have the snorkeling tour if we're going yeah. to the bahamas or we're going to florida and the swim at the beach and then your kid has right. a blowout and you have to stay at home or they get sick yeah or something happens and you just have to remember the purpose because you don't want to say something kind of, I think it, I'm going to say something weird. I think it's weird. And I want to say how you respond. Okay. 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 Can we really be present all the time? I think we can like the time to check out is to not be present is like, you know, at nighttime, maybe alone time. So I guess that's not all the time. Right. I mean, yeah, there's a, like when we were with our kids, right. we want to be present. When we're with our family, our spouses, we want to be present because it's such a – there's just a gazillion temptations to not be present. How am I doing so far? Are you with me? Is this weird or am I on? No, you're – yeah. And 
No, because I'm always one to mm. forward think. I'm like, what are we going to do tonight? What's oh. the plan for tomorrow? What's the plan for the next day? What time do we have to go to bed? Yeah. So I'm always right. looking ahead and not enjoying the moment. I saw a little clip moment. by Jim Carrey on like my social media. And it was a very short clip, but he just said something like, you know, most people are just full of worry because they're always future thinking, thinking about what's happening next. Not me, man. I'm just here right now. I'm just in the right. present. I was like, that's good, Jim. Yeah. And it's wise to have all of it. It's good to reflect and look back and appreciate what you have. It's good to look forward mm. and plan so that you're not stuck, you know, caught with your pants down, yeah. so to speak. You need to make sure you're yeah. planning for things ahead, right? If we didn't plan to bring all those snacks or the food, we would have been yeah. really grumpy with each other. And then it's good to just sit, sit and, be. and be and enjoy okay, the me, moment. Let me, yeah. um, let me agree and let me fully agree with you, but let me say another weird thing, okay? I think that if okay. you're really present, and I feel like I have, I'm, I'm just speaking from personal experience on this. When I'm really, really present, um, two kind of extreme things happen to me. Either A, um, I'm in pain. I'm in pain because like, I, yeah. When you're present. Because like I'm aware of what's going on around me and I don't like it. It's bothering me. I don't like how things are going down. Are you talking about all the time? Like I said, it's kind of maybe situations? come off a little weird. I just think like um, all the time I'm either in pain or I'm this other thing, which I'll describe. Like, which would be, which it's just going to be um, like content and thankful, joyful. So it's not like... Help me, oh. help me maybe flesh this out. So like, like putting myself in your situation, if you're really present on a trip, on a once in a lifetime trip with young kids to Santa's, Santa's workshop and things are not going your way, your kids aren't waking up. They're not doing what you want to do. They want to do your agenda. That's painful. Yeah. It can to be, be painful, present and to realize no one here wants what I want. They don't have the same values. Things are not going my way. My selfish ego desires are not happening. And I'm having a hard time with that because I'm really present. I'm not like self-medicating in a way or getting unconscious right. or like yelling or raging. I'm just sitting in my healthy presence. You with me so far? Or the other option is to do what you did is like you're present and you realize like the whole world doesn't revolve around you. People don't act the way you want. Right. Bad things happen. Things, are, people aren't as interested in being, you know, to doing exactly what you desire them to do, but you look at that situation through your mind and this is what I feel like you did. And you're like, I'm yeah. grateful. Well, I'm present and I'm happy and I'm gonna have fun and I'm gonna be selfless and I'm gonna be loving and I'm not gonna let this temporary hardship make me bring me down or break bring my presence down. and that's because of my self-talk leading up to this event yeah. right yeah, and for sure to me and yeah. my wife's conversation leading yeah, up buddy. to this event my wife would come to me several times and said hey i am really looking forward to this trip yeah. and i want it yeah, to buddy. be amazing yeah. right so it was basically her saying like i don't want you to come in and be like we can't afford to do this, or we have, have to the, yep. put our foot down and say no to yep. this. It's like, let's have fun. I'm like, okay. Yeah. So I remember this trip isn't yeah, for it's me. so good. Your mind. It's not yeah. my agenda. It's 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 her trip and it's their trip, and we I will make it mm -hmm. to whatever they want. If they want to sleep in and miss the day, that's fine. Yeah. It's not for me. But I'll. That's I'll such be a here lovely, healthy. And we have to think about We're all that. learning by this. We're all learning and being inspired by this. And I think what, what really makes a really healthy marriage is that when you have two people thinking that way, like, this is not about me. Like, I want to serve this person. Yeah. And I, it's not my trip, it's their trip. And then the other person's thinking, it's not my trip, it's your trip. Like, isn't that just the epitome of right. love right there? And seeing your kids right. one day being like, hey, this isn't just my trip, guys. This is your trip too. Like, I'm 15. What do you guys want to do? Right. Like, yeah, okay, we don't have to do things all around me. I'm 15 now. I'm 12. I'm 17. Like, right. I love you guys. Thanks for bringing me here. What do you want to do, Dad? Like, mm -hmm. that is 
I'm experiencing that with my teenagers. And that's and another it's so loving. It's so incredible. Like, awesome. What do you want to do? And like, well, what do you want to do? I'm like, what? This is so nice of you. Thank you. And when you make sure you talk about that in advance, it allows them, these kids, to open up and realize, oh, yeah. I have a voice. Yeah. But I wanted to put a little asterisk yeah. next to that because one of my points here is – Plan. I said, okay. I said, plan travel time, wake up time. Talk mm -hmm. to them in advance about it. I, I was, ma I would, I was making sure I was telling my kids, hey guys, we have three mm -hmm. flights to catch. One of them's gonna be an eight-hour flight. Then we have two two-hour flights. So I was making sure that they were aware of what's coming, so that they yeah, would buddy. be in good spirits. But the asterisk is coming, and it says, don't let your kids dictate mm -hmm. the trip. Ask their guidance. But let's be honest, some of our kids, and I'll be first to say it, yeah, they're they lazy yeah. bums. I'll say, what do you want to do today? We yeah. want to stay in yeah, the house buddy. and hang oh, out. No, 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 no. no. That, oh, that we're not coming not all the way across doing, the okay? freaking world. We're not coming across the world <laughs> and play to stay in here. The new season of Fortnite. No, iPad. dog. <laughs> right. So I'm going to ask you yeah. what you want to do, but there's really going to be a good. point where we do things that you don't Ooh, want to love do. love it. Let me do a recap. So you you probably have notes in front of me, and for those of you listening, I can't see Jordan's notes, which I love, but I have four points that I have written down. Like if you were to make a list, parenting wisdom from Jordan, here's what I have right now. Thrive in the pre-trip or uh, I'm sorry, engage them in the pre-trip involvement. You know, you're captivating their mind, their yeah. emotions in these trips. So good. It's so good to, uh, to do that. Number two is, uh, you That's know, good. be present in every moment and manage your mind to do that. That's what I heard you say. You like that? Is that fair recap? Number like three, that. that's perfect. Number yeah, three, so what you did is yeah. the pre pre trip emotional preparation. Like you got your bags ready <laughs> to travel, but you got your mind ready to travel. Right? It's like right. Just, hey, just so this, hey guys, just so you guys know, come here. We're going to talk about this for a second. You are all carrying your own luggage. You're all yeah, carrying dude. your own backpack. You're carrying an yes. extra jacket. And if we need your help with little kids, yeah, yeah, you're going to help us with little kids. Just engaging right? them. That is Gearing how, them up for how it. talk about a way to not raise entitled kids, spoiled kids, because you could, I mean, somebody might be thinking, oh my gosh, these kids must be so spoiled. They get to travel here and travel there. Like, no, this is how you raise. And I get it. This is we how you raise much. great kids. And when you have resources to give them things and to take them somewhere. So, uh, and then, and then what I have here on the next point, point number four is be the leader in the family. That's what, that's what Ooh, you that's just kind of did. Like guys, that's good. Yeah. Your, your, your voice matters here, what you say, but here's the thing. I'm the leader and this is what we're going to do when it comes to these things. That's kind of what I, the tone that I heard. Is that, is that cool? All right. I can't, yes, I can't wait to see cool. what you hear, what you say next. Okay. And I have a story. Okay. So, so we know the, the. The family trips are never perfect, and no neither way, was this no one, way. right? Giving you a perspective. So while we, we started off in Norway, checked out Viking culture, the trolls. It was wow. so beautiful. Hot Highlight, for sure, of the trip, okay. and I'm going to go back, and I would urge everybody, really? if you're a fan of like the, the, the terrain of the Pacific Northwest, the cliffs, uh, the waterfalls, mm -hmm. the ocean, Norway, Norway is, is the jam, the fjords, right? Kids will love it because wow. it's frozen, right? Yeah, the movie frozen frozen the movie yeah so movie. yeah it, it was based okay. off of norway so as we were there we had to take uh, another flight to get to to santa's village and to come back well there was a situation where our flight mm -hmm. was delayed we spent a little more time at the airport than we would like people started mm -hmm. getting cranky we ended up having to rush from one of our layovers mm -hmm. to a flight that was supposed to fly out let's say at 4 p.m and they waited till mm -hmm. five for okay. us to board. So think of sitting on a plane, waiting oh. for another plane to come so that, and so people on that flight are probably already yeah, kind of sure. cranky and like upset because yeah. they're delayed. So we show up and my kids are mm -hmm. antsy. They're mm -hmm. fighting with each other, okay. Okay. bickering. We sit down, everyone's mm -hmm. staring at us. Don't touch me. You know, just the normal brother, sister things that we all yeah have done yeah. and that all our kids do so i just look over right because i'm sitting in a different seat i give them a stare i said you guys stop it mm -hmm. right now we are done with everything and i just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically yeah. 
They asked for snacks. Yeah. No comment. They yeah. asked for yeah. tech. <laughs> no comment. Yeah. They asked to do this. No comment. And a quick nope. Well, when can we have this mm-hmm. tomorrow? And I was just yeah, very buddy. firm on on them the losing all out. their privileges, the basically. Mm-hmm. The lion came out a little bit, but I couldn't be the true lion because I was being judged. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so I was I right. Was you got to be lion. keep your composure and be I'm a normal like, person on an airplane, so someone doesn't put composure. a camera and film you, right? <laughs> End up on right, TV. Right. That's funny. So I had to, I had to, I had to bust out the whip yep. a little bit, you know, virtually, audibly, or, um, really, you know, not virtually, not, audibly, yeah, not audibly, really. Um, and the good news that came out of it was, you know, they were upset because I took everything away; okay. they weren't allowed to do anything. But when we got back to the little place we were staying, we just busted out some cards oh, nice. and played. I mean, there's no tech, no, no TVs TV, in the room, couldn't rooms. do anything. No, I just, oh, yeah, I duh. said yeah, they weren't allowed to watch it. Yeah, I mean, they yeah. lost all yeah. privileges because they were. So we ended up getting out cards, and we taught them a card oh, game and just what game? What family game? card night, which ended up being really cool. Oh, it's golf, called okay. golf. So you have nine rounds. We don't have to get into it. We have nine rounds. You try to buy these matching pairs, and it's the lowest score wins. I'm just looking at golf. the Santa Claus Village, some of the pictures from uh, on Google Maps. Do they have those Christmas lights up year round? Like, is it decorated like this year? Yeah, they're twenty four. They're twenty four seven. Yeah. And do they have how round. many months out of year. the year do they have snow at that at this uh, Ju- Julio Pekin Pacataya? Uh, Here. <laughs> I want to say that Here. roughly this time of year, Hold November. On a Listen. What? What? Hold on. Here. Hold on. I'm clicking it. What is it? I just. I actually listen. That's it. That was the. <laughs> that was how they say it on Google. Okay, so how many? I'm sorry, I cut you off. How many months out of the year? Uh, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. I guess seven no? months okay, out of the year. Okay. Six, seven months All right, out man. Of the year, probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the 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 point of that story that I wanted everybody to to listen to or to hear is, if you have to have a consequence, ultimately try to make the end goal of just more mm. family time together. Right or like Brilliant. quiet time or time that's going to bring a positive. You know, that's really a negative. Memory. I really love what you said because it really was an effective consequence and it got their attention, and then it and then here they are, they're back, and you have this wonderful family golf card game and love it, man. Yeah, and I would say overall the big million dollar question that many people probably ask themselves, you asked me before we started, says, would you go back? Would you do another big family trip? And I think the answer that all of you us would say is, yeah, we, would. family okay. trips are fun. And they could be dramatic, but I mean, if I think like with these steps, mm-hmm. these tips that you wrote yeah. down that we kind of talked about, it ultimately will help keep things cool and collective. How are you and your wife? Were you guys thriving as team members, teamwork? Because you've got your – Type A, I want to yeah. go here, I want to go there. And she's like, no, I don't want to deal with that. Did you guys work together to have a good mix? So you got to do the activities you wanted and she got the go with the flow nature that sounds like she maybe wanted? Yep. There's, there was even you know points on the trip where we'd look at each other and be like, man, you're so easy to travel with. Like, oh, I like that's traveling. so yeah. nice. It's fun. There's been like I'm, having a, I'm having a guilty flashback yeah, cool. where uh, one of the last times I took my family down south to uh, – Disneyland. I had this awesome plan, man, on my phone. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go there. We're gonna fast track here. Fast track there, and and then yeah, all yeah, my yeah, dreams are yeah. shattered because the whole family, including my yeah. wife, <laughs> saying, "Nope, we're not doing that." I was like, "What? Yeah, we are. Trust me, that. no." And I, I was know. like, "Okay, this is what it means to be in a family. All right, all right you've got. It's not right. about you. You, you got to roll want. with the punches and work as a team. And sounds like I'm." Because this trip, if you're going to Disneyland, is who's this right, trip? Right, right. <laughs> no, 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 no man. Is your right. wife a Disneyland yeah, fan? Good, okay. Good point. Okay. So, yeah, right. you did this trip. Well, it's primarily for the kids, the, the nine-year-old Santa Claus Village. And uh, it just looks like such epic terrain. Like, even on a map, I didn't even know that Norway actually reaches to the top of Finland. Reaches I, around. Norway, they just like, yeah, I guess they right. dominated the coastal region back in the old days through a war or some type of battle. That whole terrain just looks Viking, Viking culture. culture, bro. Viking right. culture. So what were the people, cool. last couple couple minutes before we end our, our episode then, what were the people like? Were there any, did you have a chance to meet with any of the locals? Were they just all touristy? Yeah, nicest people in the world. I'd say um, 
uh, there was a moment where we were in Norway and someone said, where are you from? And I said, United States. And they said, oh. what part? And I said, Georgia. And he goes, oh, you'll get along with us just fine. Your culture and our culture what? are very similar. Very open. Southern you know, like charm. Southern charm. The Southern charm. They're very friendly and open and kind and helpful. They they have um, a kid first thought process. So like in the airport, you've got playgrounds yeah. all over the place oh, for yeah. kids to play. You've got you know just things for kids all over the city. It's very mm-hmm. very family friendly. Incredible man. Very well, cool. thanks for telling these tips. So the to recap some of the things that you said here, and I'll, I don't know. You want to do your list, or you want me to do my list of recap? No, I like your Thriving list. You're, the, you're more professional. Just the, That's the engaging the, the kids list. in the tree, pre, pre-trip involvement, emotionally and you know uh, schedule wise. Number two is just really be present in every moment, and you know set your mind to presence. Number three is pre-trip emotional preparation. Just get yourself ready. This is going to be. A, a tough time. It's really interesting because oftentimes what we do is we just can't wait to go on a vacation. Oh, I can't wait to go to relax. I can't wait to go relax. And then we don't relax and we get upset. Instead, you right. did the opposite. You're like, look, I'm going on this adventure and I got kids. It's not about me and I'm going to be selfless and loving. That is, if we all, if we went into our vacations with that mindset, like vacations would be so much more loving and memorable. And the last thing you shared, which mm-hmm. I translate into, remember, you are the leader of this clan. So if your family is struggling, well, the first person to look at and start with is you. You are the leader. And lead with love, lead with mindfulness, lead with presence, lead with good intentions. And so thanks, thanks, man, for sharing this. Uh, what do you... Uh, I love that. What's thanks your uh, attitude of list, gratitude for, that you want to... Uh, my attitude of gratitude is just this time of year, you know, it's so fun. We're, we're, we're shooting this now when it's, you know, the mm. holidays and it's time to think about others. And I know it also can bring up some memories and mm. some family drama, but I think these tips will, will work for, for you as well yeah. in that same thought process. So just enjoy the holiday season. 2023 23 is almost gone and let's make 2024 even better. I'm really thankful for presence because... It just, there was a part in this episode, I think I kind of even made it clear that I was just so moved by your words. And I just like settled down in my chair and I just was so thankful for my life and for my family and my friends and for the holiday season, for, good, for Christmas, for my faith. And just like, this is like how I want to live my life. I don't want to get caught up in the, in the this or the that, or I don't have this, or I want this, or I wish this person would change. And like, when you have presence, like my heart is just filled with gratitude for what I do have. 